Hey, Steve here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create and use 16 bit luminosity masks in Photoshop. So, it's a little bit different to how we normally create luminosity masks, and if you've seen any of my videos on YouTube or my courses, um, then you'll be aware that the regular way, um, the, you know, the, by far the most common way of creating luminosity masks is to create the channels in the channels panel that we're going to use to uh, to load as selections and then we either load those selections directly into a layer mask of a adjustment or a layer um, or we brush through those um, selections to create our luminosity masks. Uh, the, uh, the main difference really between that method and what I'm about to show you is that in order for it to be a 16-bit luminosity mask we can't go through that step that in-between step of loading the channels as a selection. And the reason for that is that Photoshop, uh, by default, all selections um, in Photoshop are 8-bit only. They're not 16-bit. So what we have to do is a few extra steps, and it's a little bit complicated. So you know, might, you might want to kind of watch this video a couple of times. Um, but yeah, there's a few extra steps that we can follow to get around that, um, that common step of loading channels as a selection to create masks from them. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button just to let me know. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then remember to do that as well and you'll be notified every time I publish a new video. Uh, so with that said, let's crack on with the tutorial. So I've got an image open on the screen at the moment. And let's, uh, let's just say that we want to create a, a curves adjustment that is going to brighten these dark uh, parts of the image, so the cliffs and some of the foreground here. Uh, we can create our uh, curves adjustment and then just increase the brightness by pushing the curve upwards like this. Uh, but obviously as you can see we haven't got any layer masks applied so this is affecting the whole image and not just the shadows. So the way that we can now create a 16-bit luminosity mask to, uh, to isolate this adjustment to only those shadows is as follows. Uh, so let's just hide this for now and click back onto the background layer. Uh, so let's come into the channels panel and right, so this is where the first kind of uncommon step comes into play. So what we need to do is go to the image menu and choose calculations. And from here we want to select the following. So layer uh, source one, layer merge, that's fine. Um, choose the grey channel and then here in source 2 we want to have the uh, same settings. Actually merged or layer 0 doesn't really make a difference at this point. If you've got a lot of adjustments then you'll want to choose merged. Um, if you've got a lot of adjustments in your layers panel but we haven't at the moment so we're just going to do this straight off the background. Um, and then normal here for the blending mode. So this is going to create, you know, if you're familiar with regular luminosity masks, this is going to create a basic highlights, um, a basic highlights selection or channel. Uh, what we're actually going for is a shadows selection, though. So we need to basically invert, uh, check that invert box there up in the source one. Uh, so let's click OK. We've got the result here set to new channel. So when I click OK there, we now have Alpha 1. So this hasn't quite isolated the shadows enough because we've got some of the clouds coming through here in the, uh, in the Alpha channel. So we need to kind of go through that process again. Whereas with regular luminosity masking, we would uh, load the channel as a selection and then intersect it with itself or multiply it by itself. We now need to do this via the calculations menu again, or the menu option. So let's go image, calculations, and this time, um, okay, let's stick with merged. Well, let's use merged this time, uh, merged here. And now in the channel, we need to, uh, okay, alpha one, that's fine, alpha one, um, yeah, so we're going to basically be multiplying this or intersecting it with itself again. Uh, the difference now is that we're going to change the blending mode here to, um, or is it, to multiply. And again, we've got new channel selected, so we'll click OK. And we can see here, 
this is alpha one, this is alpha two. And if you're familiar with regular luminosity masking, then you'll kind of get the gist of what's going on here. So we're going deeper into the shadows with each, uh, with each alpha channel that we create. Uh, so let's go one further, one deeper into those shadows, just so that we can really isolate them and uh, make sure that we're not lightening any of the clouds with that curves adjustment that we created a minute ago. So let's go again. Um, image calculations. So alpha two, alpha two, multiply. It doesn't really matter at this, at this point. I'm not sure why it keeps changing between merged and and um, layer zero, but anyway, um, you can play around with those and see if it makes a difference. Uh, again, so we've got multiply, and yeah, this this time we're going to basically completely isolate uh, those um, those clouds in the sky. So let's click OK. So alpha three, we've now got that uh, channel that is nicely isolating the shadows. So the question now becomes, how do we get this channel into the uh, into the layer mask of the curves adjustment without uh, without loading it as a selection first. So here's how. Again, back up into image. Uh, this time, apply image. And so, okay, layer. Um, curves one, and we're going to load the alpha three channel into the curves one uh, layer mask. And we can kind of see a preview of what's going on there. Blend mode normal, not sure if that makes a difference. Um, and that's it. Let's click OK. We can see over here already um, what's happened. So if I click OK, we've now got that uh, alpha three channel is now loaded into the layer mask of the curves one adjustment as a luminosity mask. So when we turn this adjustment off and on, we can see it's now only affecting those uh, shadow areas of the image. So, you know, we might decide to adjust this, uh, this curve after the fact, and you know, we can do whatever we want there. Um, but yeah, so that's the gist of, um, you know, of how we can create 16 bit luminosity masks. Uh, let me just delete this and I'm just going to delete these channels again and I'll show you a really quick way that you can actually do all of this. So it's quite convoluted and I had to, I had to actually record, uh, well, I started this recording about four times uh, before this particular uh, recording because every time I was getting muddled up and I kind of forgot what it was exactly I was supposed to be selecting and via the, you know, the calculations uh, menu and everything. So here's how we can actually do this really really quickly and it's using my luminosity masking panel so i've got the panel open here if you haven't got a copy of the panel you can uh well I'll put a link in the description below this video or you can go to luminositymaskingpanel.com um so yeah okay what we can do just down here uh, just ignoring the regular luminosity selections uh, section for the moment this is where you create uh, selections that you can brush through and that's the kind of the main uh, luminosity masking um, yeah that's the main way of using luminosity masking that I teach in most of my other videos uh, so we can overlook that for the moment and just come down to the 16-bit masking section and yeah so what we can do is click this create all button and that takes a couple of seconds and now if I come over into the channels panel, we can see it's actually created 15 channels, all um, you know based on the method that I just showed you. Uh, but it's created five highlights channels. It's created five shadows channels. So this one here, number three, shadows three, that's the same as the one we just created. Uh, and then we go four and five, getting deeper into the shadows. And then we've got some mid-tone selections here, or mid-tone channels, each one isolating a slightly different tonal range. So that's already a big time saver, but if you want to actually now want to load any of these into an adjustment layer or into a layer mask of any kind of layer, what you can do 
is uh, let's add that curves adjustment again. It's going to brighten the image. Uh, what we can do is just use this grid over here and each one of these little buttons here corresponds to one of the channels. So S1 is shadows one. So if I just hit that, it's going to load the shadows one channel into the mask that is currently uh, active in the, in the layers panel. And so we can just toggle between these really quickly. So this is isolating the, uh, the shadows now. So this is actually shadows three. That's the same, um, that's the same mask we just created in the manual walkthrough. Um, but you know we can click any of these and easily toggle between them just to see which one is going to give us the desired effect and the best result for our particular adjustment. Uh, in this case, let's go back to S3, Shadows 3, to get to where we were in the uh, previous step. So um, yeah, it's, it's actually even quicker. Uh, there is an even quicker way of doing it. So if we just hit this Delete All button, and yeah, we can see here all those channels have now been deleted. And let's start this process over again. Uh, let's add a curves adjustment and let's increase the brightness. And now let's say we haven't hit that create all button. Um, all we need to actually do uh, to let's say load the shadows three uh, mask into this, um, yeah, into the layer mask here is just hit that S3 button. And if we haven't already created those uh, channels, we can just hit the OK button here. It's just giving us a message to say that it's gonna create the channels in the background first. And a couple of seconds later, we now have the, um, you know, the Shadows 3 channel loaded into the layer mask of the curves adjustment. And that is just about as quick, I think, it's just about as quick as you're ever gonna be able to apply 16-bit luminosity masks to your image. So um, yeah, I mean, let's say we wanted to make this a darkening effect and then apply it in the highlights. You know, it's something you can do there and you can just toggle between them all. And it's, uh, you know, it's just so quick to, um, to go between all of these and, you know, get some really quick and easy, high quality 16-bit luminosity masks. So I think I'll wrap this video up here. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. And if uh, if you want to get a copy of my panel, you can go to luminositymaskingpanel.com or click the link in the video description below. Uh, let me know if uh, if you like this video. Just uh, leave me a comment, or if you have any questions, put a comment below the video, and I'll do my best to answer personally to every message that I receive. So with that said, thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.